Perfect, okay. Thanks, Brenton, for that uh, introduction. So Crux, for any of you that don't know who we are, we're a software product made for drilling. And, and how we say that is, what we do is help track your drilling activities and costs to ensure that you're optimizing your meters out of your drill programs. So how we kind of fit into the index um, strategy here is we collect data from the field, from the drill site. We validate that data and approve it so that you can do analysis and reporting on it that provides you confidence in your data to move forward towards optimizing your drilling. We're working on some really exciting stuff that I'll give you a quick sneak peek of today, but it's actually taking data off the instrumentation. So can, what can we know about what's in the ground from the surface and from the drill itself? And so some really exciting projects happening there. So our platform consists of a couple components. One is Crux Log. That is, the, that is an app that works in both Apple and Android where you can collect the data from the drill site. And so we collect plods, daily shift reports, timesheets, survey data, and other instrumentation data. It can work with or without internet connection. It's configurable and it works across multiple languages and provides data validated coming through to the platform. Crux Metrics is our cloud-based portal this is where you can do your configuration, your setup, and all of your analytics dashboarding um, and stuff like that. Crux DAC is that component that I was talking about. It's a data acquisition system that takes that information off the drill rig in order to provide more rock knowledge uh, from the instantaneous rate of penetration up to carbon footprint, what was the required drilling energy to drill this hole, and obviously, still optimizing your drilling. If you know what's in the ground before you hit it, you can better plan your drill programs. So from here, I'm gonna just jump into a demo and feel free to uh, ask questions. So again, our, cons our system consists of those two separate pieces that I mentioned. Uh, this is the app, and just to quickly show you how easy it is to enter a report is you come in, log into the system with or without connection, pick your language, and log in. This is something that drillers would interact with on a daily basis. So in here, in a daily shift report, you can pre-configure everything for your drillers. So by selecting their drill, the majority of their daily shift report is already pre-populated. They come in, they identify and correct who is on site. They go through their activities. So maybe, really quick, I'll start with a safety meeting. Uh, maybe it's a pre-shift inspection. It's 15 minutes. And then maybe I go and I start drilling. We do a lot of validations within the platform itself to ensure the first pass of data you get is accurate. So right here, it already remembers what hole I left off on, what depth I was at. I enter what I've drilled to, put in my hours and go to the next activity, which is, you know, like maybe I trip rods for a quick bit change. Maybe that was 15 minutes. And then I go back to drilling. It remembers even from what I've already done in the system that that's there. If I go to try to submit this without putting an end depth, I'm going to get an error. So what we're doing is ensuring that the data coming through is as clean as possible. So that's as easy as it is for the drillers to enter their reports. Once they come through into the platform, they come through into the Crux metrics where you can go through and approve and validate this data. So you come through and I can quickly see what was drilled yesterday. I can see what was billable and how it was billable with the invoice amounts, consumables, equipment, surveys that were done and any forms that were submitted on that day. The reason why we do all this analysis and, clean, and cleanse the data here is so that you can see the effects of your drilling program. So everything we do goes down to the hole level. So here's a hole where I have a total cost of the hole. I can see how my rate of penetration changed from the start to the end of the hole. I can see how my cost stacked up from the start to the end of the hole. And I can also align that with my imagery. So what did the ground look like? So for example here, my rate of penetration went through the roof, my costs went up, what did it look like? Did the ground cause that to happen? And start to correlate those things together. We also want you to know where you are in the hole. So when you get that survey data, do I need to wedge? Do I need to abandon? Or should I keep drilling? Am I still on target? 
And so this is meant just to give a quick uh, bird's eye view for a geo to make sure they can make a decision in real time. And we give you a quick identification of where you're at. Then the other thing we do is we like to help you make your plan. So I have a group of holes. This is my drill plan and I need to know how I'm progressing to my plan. So one, how is my actuals going to what I thought I'd be doing? And what does my budget look like? So down here you can see I have a budget of 2.3 million. I'm under budget right now and I'm trending my cost per meter under budget. What does that tell me? I should be able to get all my meters, maybe even a couple more. Um, we have a quick little map here so you can see the status of all the holes and where the drills are actively submitting reports from. And then obviously going into the analytics side, we have a whole bunch of pre-canned dashboards that are available to users in the system that come from our expertise in the drilling space. So you can come in and interact with these at any time. You can make them larger, you can filter out certain activities, um, and you can analyze your program from here, export data. You can also create your own custom dashboard. So here's one that I created today, really quick. It's bit on bottom time. So I'm immersed, fully immersed in Power BI within our system, and you can build all your own dashboards. And this was a really quick one that I put in here by drill, for example, of what the bit on bottom time. What if I actually wanted to uh, do this by driller? So if I go, um, let's just do name, employee name I think is what it is. And I gotta find it now of course when I'm on the spot. Employee name right here. I'm gonna throw that in here. I'm also gonna filter out here the role. Uh, here's the role here. I'm gonna filter, oh it is, it's already filtered to the driller so I actually already have that filter on it. And so now what I can do if I dig down in this data now, very quickly, uh, okay, I'm just going to take out the drill name because it's uh, confusing it. Very quickly, I've now done by driller what their bid on bottom time is. So that's how quickly you can move your data around to understand how you're performing. So you could do by driller name, you could do by drill, you can do by many different things here and you have your bid on bottom time. I did talk about crack stack briefly. So I'll go into that in a little more detail here as well. This is what the platform it looks like today where we're ingesting that instrumentation data. So really starting to align what's happening either by time or by depth. And what you can do is with all the different parameters that you have, you can stack these however you want. So maybe I wanna look at engine torque versus the engine speed and see how those two things correlate. And at any time I can map this across a depth or a time perspective. I did that really, really fast. <laughs> but if there's any questions or want me to dig deeper into anything else, I can. Yes? I had a question about the sensors on the rig. Yeah. Um, are they sensors that you're developing or are they sensors that already exist on most machines? Yeah, so we, ha we have a consulting service that can help design instrumentation for your rig if it doesn't have it. Otherwise, we're utilizing instrumentation systems that are already pre-built from the manufacturer. Um, and using anything off the shelf. Our, our aspect is to be very agnostic, so we can take that from any input that can communicate into the system. Yeah. Perfect. That was, I guess that's it. <laughs> Thanks guys.